Hello everyone, in today's video, you're going to be solving this problem from Pathfinder. Work energy powers, check your understanding. So this is a good problem. So in this problem, basically a ball is projected horizontally from a height h. Okay, and the height h is greater than the radius of this dome. And it's given that this ball on its journey touches the hemispherical dome. And after touching it, it goes, uh, it just goes and falls to the ground. So we are required to find the condition for which the velocity with which it falls on the ground is minimum. So let's just begin with the solution. So like, yeah, this is basically the condition. So it's, it has to touch the hemispherical dome. And by touching, just touching, it doesn't collide with it. And tangentially, it will like continue on its path and hit the ground with a velocity, Vg. So for this problem, let's just assume the velocity with which it touches the dome is u and its angular position is theta. Okay. So now the condition for the, the question, what it's asking us of is we need to minimize Vg. So <clears throat> first and foremost, let's say if we were to reverse this u, okay, then, the, then this projectile will continue on this path and at the highest point, its velocity would be v. Okay. So in that case, this would be half of the range of that projectile. So the range over two, we can find out from this triangle to be r sine theta, right? And the formula for range is pretty easy. It's u square sine two theta by g. And substituting that, we'll get the value of u square as rg upon cos theta. Now, as we have found out the value of u, we can conserve energy between point B and point C to get a condition for Vg. And so we, as we conserve energy between P and C, kinetic energy put potential energy equals Ke final plus potential energy final. So after solving, we get the value of Vg to be this. So it comes out to be a function of theta. Now, as we need the minimum of this, there are two ways. Uh, one, one way is to differentiate, or what you could do is just use am greater than or equal to gm, as the gm of this is root two, right? So using this am gm inequality, we'll get the following condition. And with that, we'll get the minimum value of vg to be square root two root two gr, and solving it, we'll get the answer as 20 meter per second. Now, the specific condition in which am equal to gm happens only when both of the individual terms become equal to each other. So solving for that, we'll get the value of theta to be 45 degree. Now, as we got theta, we can easily get the value of u to be root 2 gr. Now, the next part of the question is we need to find the value of this height h. And as we earlier did, as we know the value u, we can find the maximum height of this projectile, h max. And also, if we add r cos theta to h max, we'll get the value of small h. And that's what we are going to do. So the value of h would be r cos theta plus the h max of that projectile. So once you solve that, you get the value of uh, h to be 15 meters. Now we also have to find this velocity of projection and that is pretty simple. It's just the velocity at the highest point of this projectile, which is just u cos theta, right? So v is just u cos theta. And after solving, you'll get the answer as 10 meter per second. So that was this problem. Thanks for watching, guys.